it's me again. Uh, I'm in my little workshop. I just wanted to show you this Briggs and Stratton. Now I've got the carburetor offset already, and I'll get to that in a, in a in part two. But if you want to check and make sure your Briggs is good, first thing you want to do is pull this pull cord completely out and look for any fraying like that, and replace the cord if it's frayed, because you don't. It's easier to replace than rewind. Here's your coil. I'll try and get in on that. Uh, if you're getting spark, that's fine, but I like to adjust them anyway. If you undo these two bolts, this one right here and this one right here, this moves back and forth. And if you look at the side of the flywheel, right here's your magnets. You don't want to be on your magnets, at least not yet. And we're going to go ahead and loosen these up. And show you how to adjust this magneto so that you get great spark every time. Loosen it up, pull it back as far as it'll go. Tighten it back up just a little bit. Now there's a space. <coughs> right here between the flywheel and the Magneto. I really don't know how well you can see that, but you'll be able to see it, see it good here in a second. Now, and this figures I lost it. You can use a business card or a matchbook or anything you got. <coughs> Me. I got a piece of a carton of cigarettes. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to ro want to rotate these magnets until they're lined up over here. And you don't have to do it this way, it just makes it a lot easier. Now take your piece of cardboard and it's a thin one, you know, it's just like a, it's like a business card. And you slip it between the magneto and the flywheel, just like that, on both sides. Okay. Now you take your wrench, you loosen these up. And you may have heard that click, and that was the magneto pulling forward up against the flywheel. It's actually touching the cardboard and crushing the cardboard, which is good. Now you do, <coughs> tighten your bolts back up. Take one finger and put it on the cardboard right here and twist the engine and pull that cardboard out. Just like that. Now you've got perfect spacing between the flywheel and magneto. Now I'm going to see if we can show this. Don't know if we, don't know how it's going to come out. But to check your fire, just pull your spark plug out. Just like that. Put your starter back on. Okay. 
take your spark plug, put it against something metal. I'm not exactly sure where I'm going to put it, but I will find a spot. <coughs> the side needs to be touching metal. Hopefully this is good enough. I'm going to try and get this on camera. You got a good spark, that's what you want. <coughs> Sorry about the camera, I'm kind of by myself. Now, set your spark plug out of the way so it don't zap you. Take a finger and put it over the spark plug hole and spin your engine. If you got any compression there, which you can hear it pushing my finger off, this engine will run again. <coughs> The next thing, actually the first thing, is you need to make sure your safety's out of the way. And I did that by vice gripping the handle up. Luckily the cable and everything was good so the safety's out of the way so I can spin this by hand. <coughs> so now that we got spark and our safety's out of the way, <coughs> next thing is the carburetor work. And I will show what happens to these and why they quit running in part two. So stay tuned for that and I'll show you them car the carburetor on one of these. It's actually a pretty, pretty basic carburetor. <coughs> so keep watching. <coughs> 